Welcome back, MMA Odds Breaker, Frank Trigg. Uh, Elvis, getting ready to fight Calvin Tiller. Coming up on World Series of Fighting 12. 13-3, um, 6-0. You're not scared. You're not scared of anybody that steps inside the cage. But, I mean, do you, you fought a lot of guys that are, that are undefeated when you fought them. Is this a different undefeated kind of guy? Or is it the same kind of guy that all, of, all undefeated guys don't know how to lose yet? Because they haven't lost yet. You like, yeah, getting, you got, you like you teaching them that. Yeah, <laughs> you got to teach them how to lose. Um, they're, I mean, they're they're going to be a little bit more confident than the guy that never lost. Um, that's why I feel about it. But uh, I think when when you uh, you got to you got to really push him. You got to break him. Um, once you break him, I mean, it's a it's a it's cakewalk from there. But you know, he's uh, he's definitely going to be. He's very explosive. You know, he's uh, he's undefeated. He's, he's a He's a, he's, you know, he's a good opponent. He's a worthy opponent. So, uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll see about handing him his first uh, loss. You, you look at his record: submission, decision, submission, technical submission, which same as a submission, uh, TKO, and then a submission. So he, he wins by submissions mainly. Out of six wins, he has four, four by submission, one decision, and one KO, TKO. But when I look at his fights, I don't see his submission game being that outstanding or, or that that far superior than everybody else's. Do you see something different in his submission game than I do? Uh, not really. He's, I mean, I, I think he's, uh, he uses his stand-up set-up, you know, set-up to go to the ground. He's a very athletic guy, and I think he's quick, and uh, I think he's strong. So I think that's that's his main, uh, uh, um, it's his main weapon in his submission. You know, he's just, he's just very explosive, very, uh, uh, you know, very strong, very strong guy. So, you know, he just uses that to finish. You know, he'll just take anything that's open, you know, which I'm kind of the same way. So, yeah, I think as, uh, as long as I keep the whole game, uh, you know, nice and tight, uh, I should be fine. Now, we look at your record, and correct me if it's wrong, uh, you have six wins by submission as well, five KOs and two decisions. So you have as many submissions as he has fights in your victories. This is not going to be a submission matchup game, though, I don't feel like. I think that's going to be his athletic ability – against your veteran ability inside the cage to kind of slow things down and pick your space and then accelerate when you want to accelerate. Is that kind of, is that kind of, am I touching on the game plan that you kind of have for this fight? Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's just going to be basically, you know, who I'm going to, I'm going to control the, I'm going to control the fight where it goes. If I want to go on the ground, it's going to go on the ground. If I want to keep it on the feet, he's going to stay on the feet. I'm sure he's going to try to uh, oppose his game plan. But it, it's gonna, it's going to be who opposes their game plan better. And like you said, you know, I, I'm, uh, I have no problem going through ground. I had never been finished uh, finished in a fight, so I'm. And he's not he's not a, like, the type of a guy that can just hold you down, you know. And I, and I like that because he moves. You know, he's not a boring fighter, you know. And uh, he's going to keep going for stuff. I'm going to keep going for stuff, and uh, have a better guy win. Let's go back, and, and like you said, you, you only lose by decision. No one ever finishes you, ever. If they're going to beat you, the only way they're going to beat you is by out-hustling you for, for three to five rounds. Let's go back to the Jesse Taylor fight, which was your last fight. You lost a decision to him. What did you learn from that fight? That I mean, you obviously go back, you looked at the tape, you saw what happened, you saw, you kind of saw how the judges picked against you. What did you learn that you're taking forward now from, from that loss? I made a I made a lot of decisions. Uh, I made a lot of mi mistakes uh, during that training camp period. Oh. Um, I I got too big, um, and and I know I you know last time when I spoke to you I said I don't want to get you know I you know I don't want to put up too much size on, but I ended up I ended up walking the cage almost you know over two hundred ten pounds. Oh wow! Um, so That's I put on a huge. lot. Of, <laughs> yeah, I was I was very very uh, and the thing before and I wasn't. I looked like I was out of shape, you know, and I looked kind of bloated and stuff, but it was just my body took on a huge amount of weight, a huge amount of water. So I was really bloated. Um, I concentrated a little bit more because I knew Jesse was going to be a strong guy. I concentrated a little bit more on, on power instead of speed. Um, so I think that was the, I, that took my uh, some of my athleticism away. Um, I mean, it was a hard cut. You know, I cut 28 pounds in four days. I made a mistake there. Um it, it was just it was just the chain reactions of making uh, um, that, that there was a lot of small decisions, just a lot of small mistakes that I made training for that fight, and then uh, when you put them all together, it's a huge mistake, you know. Um, and I might have overestimated him, you know, be, being able to hold me down like the way he did. Yeah. And um, I, I just I, I should have had more urgency, stay on the feet instead of uh, 
instead of uh, you know letting him take me down like he did. And uh, I didn't really think he forced a takedown, but you know I could I could have tried harder to stay on the feet. You know I could have fought it off better, but um, you know I, I slimmed down. I dropped some muscle. You know I uh, I re I went back to some of the basic things that I did before that worked for me, okay. and uh, I think that's gonna carry me well through this fight. Okay, well, it sounds like Elvis, you got yourself back on track again. Things are going the right direction. Uh, have fun against Calvin Tiller. It's going to be a great fight to watch on World Series of Fighting 12. Uh, this one's actually here in, uh, in Las Vegas on uh, August 9th. Hopefully, I'll be in town for this one. I should be back in time uh, to watch it, uh, watch it live. So, uh, good luck, and we'll talk to you soon, bud. Sounds good. It'll be fun.